All right, guys, you can just barely see them in the background, but I got the bubbles of death. Yeah, that's right. They don't have any water. They don't have any bubbles in them just yet, but we're going to change that in just a second. We're going to fill them up. We're going to turn them on and we are going to see them bubble to death. So yeah, they pretty much disappear up against the brick wall here, but it was easier to see them there than when I tried to put them here. So that's right, guys. I actually got two of the bubbles of death. You can barely see them back there, but there they are. Let's just take a quick look at them. Look at this. They are just slightly taller than I am. They actually have a lid that goes on each, but it's down in the basement. If I need it, to make it bubble for some reason, I will go get them and put them on. But we're gonna try them out first. You can see the bases down here. There's like a little almost filter looking thing in there that creates the bubbles. And then beside that is the light in this case, which is red. Now I haven't looked too deep into them yet to see if you can actually change the colors, but I would think you could. It's probably just as simple as ordering a new bulb from Amazon. I can't imagine they would build something like this and the light bulb couldn't be changed where like if it just burns out, you're just out of luck. So I've got my hose out here so we can fill them up because you actually do have to fill them up from the tops of the cylinders. And the very strange thing about these is that there's no way, no easy way to drain them. Like you think that they would have built them with like a little plug down here somewhere that you could just pull and then drain the water out. However, there is electrical components inside those boxes, so you can't do that. So I actually had to go on Amazon and buy a siphon kit that is used to siphon water out of like really big fish tanks or even gas out of gas tanks. And that's what we're gonna use to get the water out of there when we're done. Because ultimately these are gonna go downstairs in my office behind my desk so that when I do live streams and things like that, you guys will be able to enjoy them in the background. So guys, I had not even planned on getting these. I had been thinking about it all season, how cool they would be to have them in my office in the background. And I contacted my friend David, who had already bought them for himself. And he was nice enough to sell me these two and only keep one for himself. So thank you so very much, David. I appreciate it more than you can imagine. All right, guys, well, without further ado, let's go ahead and fill these up and get them bubbling to death. All right, there they are, guys. How cool is that? I wish you could see them a little bit better, but they're up against those red bricks, and the lights in here are red. We'll get a close-up, though. You can hear how they buzz, so that's a little annoying if it's going to be in my office, but it still is pretty dang cool. They are bubbling very good. <laughs> I love these things so much. How awesome is that, guys? They are so awesome. But that's not it, guys. I also got these, the electricity tubes of death or whatever you want to call them. Ah! <laughs> you can barely see that they're working right now because we're outside in the light. But I assure you, they are working and they're going to be part of the display in my office. All right, guys, make sure you stay tuned because my office is being put together as we speak. I had carpet installed this morning. I have a desk and a new chair coming and all kinds of awesome Halloweeniness to be in the background, including the bubbles of death and the electricity of death. Mm -hmm. 